Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about location privacy settings for your apps. There is a central space in Windows 8 where you have all the apps in a privacy setting uh, page and the um, thing is like an iPhone or an Android phone or a tablet that is uh, always connected to the web apps require you to actually give a permission for them to get location information. Uh, for some apps it's important. For example, if you don't give your weather app the location information, it cannot give you the weather for your city or your location because it doesn't know where you are. So some apps it's a good idea but there's some apps that you probably aren't sure you want to give the location um, of where you are. So you can actually go into location privacy settings and check that out. All you have to do is go into your search in the charms bar on your screen, change the everywhere to settings and uh, simply type location and you will see location privacy settings. If you click that you'll see location. First of all, there's the big master switch. So at the top, let Windows and apps use my location. You can turn that on or off in one shot. So for example, if I put this switch to off, no apps will ever get my location. So that's the master switch. If you don't care that an app, uh, you know, gets your privacy, your uh, location, um, or if you actually don't want any of your apps to ever get your location, then that's the master switch. You just turn it off and no apps are going to have that setting. Personally, I prefer to put the switch at on, but select which apps will give my location. So for example, AccuWeather for Windows 8. Of course, weather is always nice to have the on switch so that it knows where I am. But there are things I don't want. For example, Facebook. I'm not sure I want to have Facebook always telling everyone my location. It's kind of annoying and I don't really like Facebook telling everyone when I post something, a status. So I will put the Facebook one at off, for example. Uh, some others, like for example, Foursquare, I keep on because I want to know, for example, around me what are the best uh, restaurants if I want to search for that so you need to keep the location on if you want to have those working what's nice about this is you can temporarily put it on and if you want you can switch it off so by doing that you know that um, it's not always going to work of course the Google search um, you can depending on what you search for uh, you know if you search for general stuff it's not really important to have location of Google search. But why do we have a Google search location? Well, if you're looking, let's say you want to order pizza and you want to know where you can order pizza. Well, having the Google search location at on will ensure that the pizzas that you want to order are from local pizzerias or restaurants because um, What's happening is that, uh, you know, you can buy a pizza from Paris. Well, that's not very interesting because they won't, you know, take the pizza from France and send it over. So uh, by enabling the location, you have better search results for your area. And so, uh, you know, just choose which apps you want to have on or off and uh, check for that switch. And if you don't want to have any apps that will uh, get your location, then just you know put the general switch at off. What's nice about that is that it keeps the settings of your apps. So for example, if uh, you see here all the apps that I've put on and off, it keeps the switch on or off in the same position. It just uh, blanks everything temporarily while you put the switch the master switch at off. That's that's quite a nice uh, a nice thing because it keeps your settings once you put it back at on all the apps that you wanted to have location settings and all the apps you don't want location settings are stay the same 
So that's pretty much how it works. Uh, and it all depends on you. Do you want or not apps to have your location when you use them? And um, if so, well, here you know where you can actually put the switch at on or off and uh, select only the ones that you want on and only the ones you want off or just, you know, put the master switch at off and that's it. So if you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows 8 that you'd like us to make a video of, something we missed out and we don't have online. Let us know. We'll try to put that video online. You'll be helping others at the same time. And hopefully, you will come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.